And late this afternoon, officials with the NCAA announced they are canceling March Madness after all. Yes, it includes games in Fort Wayne in the men's D3 and women's D1 regional tourneys. We were so looking forward to having those games. Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Jeff Newmeyer has more on a difficult pill to swallow for local tourism officials and managers at the Coliseum. At Pine Valley Country Club late morning, a celebrating women in sports event was designed to build hype in anticipation of out-of-town fans rolling into the Coliseum for the NCAA Women's Division I Regional in two weeks. But the COVID-19 outbreak had other ideas. This is an unprecedented situation, and of course the, the health of our, our community overrides um, fans being at the tournament. Visit Fort Wayne estimated hosting the men's D3 semifinals next weekend and women's D1 regionals would trigger about a $1.2 million economic impact for restaurants, hotels, and other local businesses. All of that is now gone. We asked if the community had to pony up money to land the tournaments in the first place. No, there wasn't any cent of money paid to the NCAA to get this tournament. It was based on our reputation at the Coliseum for hosting successful other events. Coliseum General Manager Randy Brown, of course, disappointed about the lost revenue with no games being held. But what's happened with these basketball tournaments, he has more to worry about than just that. We are having significant event cancellations right now. Everything from sporting events to things like the Vera Bradley sale in April that draws visitors from all 50 states and at least 20 foreign countries are at risk of becoming victims of the growing health threat. For the Coliseum, a slim calendar translates to a slim bank account. Uh, our reserves are limited, and uh, if this is uh, an ongoing uh, process over say, three to six months, it will be a problem for us. Brown may need to ask Allen County government officials for short-term aid if things get real tough. The Allen County War Memorial Coliseum is one of the county's biggest and, and shiniest assets, and so we need to make sure at the end of the day that it sustains, that it continues to grow. Health officials warn the novel coronavirus would cause disruptions to our daily lives. It's doing just that. Jeff Newmeyer, Fort Wayne's NBC. And leaders with Visit Fort Wayne say the community is also at risk of losing events hosted by Spies Field House, the Ice House, and other local venues that draw about 100,000 visitors each and every year.